Hey guys, Nolan here with Fish USA. Hey, I'm, I'm Jake from Fish USA. We've got a pretty cool story to tell you guys. So Jake and I actually caught the exact same steelhead. And I know this happens a lot, you know, catch and release works obviously, but for us to catch the same fish, 10 pound class, super chrome fish, exactly one week apart, about a half a mile away from each other, just seems pretty astronomical. And obviously here at Fish USA, we believe in selective harvest. There's nothing wrong with keeping fish, but this is a really cool story about a successful catch and release. So Jake was the first one to catch it. I'll let him tell the story. So kind of a little crazy story. I was just, uh, I was fishing alone. I had my fly rod and I'm just sneaking up through and there was just like this really nice uh, deep pocket. And I, I watched this, uh, this fish roll. It was a, it was a colored up fish. And uh, I just, you know, cast right to it. And it was the first drift. Came over and smoked it, uh, ate the bead. And I, I, I fought it for a while. It's like 25, 26 inch male. It's a really nice fish, really solid, uh, but it's a little older. I unhooked that fish and I, I cast right back in there, adjust my rig, cast back in there, and my indicator looked like a jet ski going across the top of the water. I set the hook and this giant chrome female hen jumps straight out of the water and lands right at my feet. I had all kinds of slack, everything, oh my gosh. And I strip back up and it runs me like, 200 yards downstream. I'm, I actually dropped my pack. I wear a lumbar pack. I dropped it because I couldn't run fast enough. I was running after this fish and uh, I, I realized I needed to cross to, you know, so I could get a better angle at this fish. And I ended up falling in on my face, broke my glasses, everything. But I landed this, this absolutely monstrous tank of a fish. It was really high up in the water system. Um, and it was dime bright chrome as can be. It was, it was really impressive for a January fish. Then I go back exactly one week later, fish a very different stretch of creek, started in the same stretch, but walked about a mile. Um, and right at the end of the day, it, I was about to start walking back up. It's like 4.30. I hooked this fish, big chrome fish, comes up rolling like crazy, fighting so hard, took me into my backing. I was chasing after it too. Luckily, didn't run me as hard as it did Jake. I didn't fall in, but I ended up landing this fish and uh, on a six millimeter Glover OB and took some awesome pictures of it. Was super, super pumped, you know, walked far, worked, worked hard for that fish and uh, let it go. Next day, I'm kind of looking at pictures thinking like, that fish was really, really similar to the one Jay caught last week. And I kind of zoomed in, I zoomed in on mine, I zoomed in on his and I was like, that's 100% the same fish. And it's just so cool that, you know, you take good care of your fish, you release them and that, us working in the same place, good friends, would catch the same fish, like probably about a half mile away, you know, completely different locations. It just, it's just really cool. And that it would be a 10 pound class chrome fish like that. It's, it's special. And uh, something to add there is neither of us had a tape measure. So <laughs> it was an absolutely monster fish. Um, both of us uh, didn't have the tape measure to get the exact uh, length on it, but uh, truly a, an eerie giant and eerie trophy. Hey, you know, I'd like to add about the uh, just catch and release also, you know, um, you know, coming from two experienced anglers that have been fishing our uh, tributaries for a long time is, you know, we, we see how that catch and release works very often. And, you know, it's, it's pretty special that I can catch a fish like that. And then my good friend who's been fishing for steelhead for forever um, has, uh, and catches a fish like that. But, you know, it makes it even more special, you know, and we only knew that because we took pictures of both of these fish. But what if some young kid, his first time ever fishing for steelhead, catches a fish of that caliber? Or someone uh, who's fishing on the streams for the first time catches a fish of that caliber? They're hooked. Um, and that's what this is all about. It's, uh, it's a community. We should all put in what we get out of this precious resource. Uh, we're going to leave it at that, guys. And uh, thanks for listening to this great story. Thanks, guys.